If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Guys, skip the packs, save some money, head over to MuttReserve.com, and use code POOL for 50% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got quite a few things that were announced this morning. Pretty important stuff, quite honestly, guys. We have a little list to go over here. I'm super excited to talk about some of this stuff, especially because it answers a lot of questions a lot of you guys may have been asking. Uh... It pretty much confirms a lot of things as far as content coming back, next promo, Madden thresholds, a lot of stuff, solo battle fixes, guys, I'm super excited. But first, guys, before we get into today's video and we go over all this news, also, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video, guys, because you don't want to miss any of this. I promise you it's all important news. But before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification boys, and join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always, and if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what, which part of this news is most exciting for you. And yes, from just smash the like button, guys. Can we get 100 likes on today's morning video? I know things have been a little bit slow, but let's get the momentum going again, guys. Let's kick it back up. But guys, first things first, guys. Kickoff is confirmed. The kickoff promo is confirmed. If you guys did not see over on Mutt Insider, it said that a promo Thursday was coming. They also leaked in two days ago on the stream uh, the kickoff set, and they leaked a potential currency in the corner. And on top of all that, Cradle did just say in the stream about a promo Thursday, there may be a, a their, uh, Wednesday night pre-reveal, so that pretty much means they're revealing the promo Wednesday night, but they may be behind, so it may just be a Thursday morning recap. Either way, don't care, Thursday promo coming, it's gotta be kickoff, also it's coming Thursday guys, kickoff of the NFL season is Thursday, Chiefs versus the Houston Texans, so it's kickoff promo. Super excited about that guys, I did go over my player predictions on another video yesterday if you wanna know who those guys are, go check those guys out, go watch the whole video, let me know what you guys think, comment down below who your kickoff player predictions are, personally I'm excited for kickoff. First big promo, right? Superstar MVP was okay, but kickoff is like the season kickoff. Like that's our, that, that, that opens up the season for us. You know what I mean? Super excited. Thursday night's gonna be such a cool day. We got Madden videos, guys. We got NFL football back again. I got some fantasy football to watch. I got some, maybe some daily fantasy to hop into. Maybe I don't like gambling money, but maybe it's time to hop back into that, guys. But that's it on the ter in terms of kickoff that's it now another thing we have to cover guys is the title update there will be a title update coming out today if you guys didn't read the notes go look them up online title update plenty of notes we saw pass rushes being fixed uh, a lot of bugs are being fixed a lot of in-game stuff's being fixed hopefully they fixed the chew clock I, I didn't see that in there but hopefully that's a part of it as well but title update is coming around approximately i believe they usually come out around one usually so just stay tuned for that a title update is going to be super super important in terms of Fixing the game up a little bit. Uh, there's a pretty big title update from last thing I checked. These notes were leaked like a week ago, but the official notes are going to be out for you guys to check out. So make sure you guys go check those out. Now let's go into some of the important stuff, such as thresholds. Now that's super important. I'm taking you guys over. If you guys know what thresholds are, you know in videos when we when I when I go over a legend player, I'm like, okay, so Mel Blunt has an 87, 88 zone. If you power him up and chem up, he'll hit the 90 zone threshold. These thresholds pretty much tell you how players play. So between 80 to 87 zone, let's just say, or 80 to 89 zone, players play similar. The moment they hit 90, they become a next level, right? It's almost like, uh, let's say, first place, second place, third place. There's a first tier, second tier, third tier. 80s, 89s, all second tier. They play like this. The second they get into 90, they're in that gold tier, and they play like this. Like They, they, they instantly start uh, jumping routes, playing things you never saw before. You start seeing animation you've never seen before. So that's why thresholds are so important. Let me take you over and show you guys all the Madden thresholds. Guys, right, so hopefully you can see all this. So, Elite defensive back press guys so the threshold for having an insane press like throwing receivers off their routes holding them at the line is a 90 overall that's what we all kind of figured i figured that wide receiver b press is also a 90 to be able to beat the press so pretty much guys the way you want to see this is right now most receivers don't have a 90 b press for, for the most part so if you can get a, a, um, a defensive back like a sante samuel or a guy with better press like maybe a rob woodson it's not 90 but again theme teams chemistry is locked down all that you can get someone to a 90 to go against wide receivers who don't have a 90 b press you can essentially press them all game and for the most part destroy them and then vice versa if you have a wide receiver with 90 b press you can pretty much send him on almost any cornerback in the game and he will do the job now man coverage reactions are at 90 as well and so are zones break on throws see i i, I had a feeling guys but it, it's again 90 so man coverage 90. that pretty much means if you have an 89 man coverage you will play decent man coverage you have a 90 on a regular wide receiver you're going to be a lockdown corner now, zone break chance tiers. Now, I guess this is to break zones if they have a 65 for curl, flat, deep, and hook. So, if, they're, if they have a, a 65 zone, this is the lowest tier. And the highest tier, so for flats and curls, so I'm going to play flats and curls really good. From what I see here, they only need to have an 80. So, that means if you're, if you're a guy that, if you keep your corners in the flats or the curls, you have like a, a nickel corner that just stays down low. 
he doesn't have to have above an 80 zone to be great now if you're going to be deep and play hooks and all that other stuff you're going to need a 90 zone for them to get their best tier animations now i don't know what that means to be honest with you uh blocking chance uh skill to be super wind I don't, honestly guys i'm not gonna know all of this but blocking run block minimum so an 89 run block is their minimum for the top threshold and then again if you guys know what some of this stuff means go ahead uh hit power so the 75 threshold i guess is the hit power for forcing like forcing fumbles consistently right or, or the best chance of forcing a fumble is above 75 which i thought would be a little bit higher then we have hit stick for defense 75 hit sticks for offense to break a tackle i guess if you have below a six if you have a, i don't know that one's kind of weird fumble strip now i don't so for a fumble strip your tackle rating of, above a 90 is when you get the most strip so i didn't know that i didn't know that tackling had to do with uh the strip threshold which is pretty interesting and then tackle versus carry 20 uh let's see defender fumble ability 20 i don't know what that means either so up here we have receiver release is a 75 to be good receiver release to be elite at releasing at 90 and then receiver runner out so if you have above a 75 route running you're going to be good and then if you have a uh, above a 90 pretty much going to be elite now this is really interesting guys it's interesting for you guys when you build your team like let's say you're between two wide receivers right not an exact science here, but Mark, let's say Mark Clayton or Tyreek Hill. So Mark Clayton gets 90 deep route running. Let's just say Tyreek doesn't. I think they both do, but Tyreek doesn't. So you're like, huh, Tyreek has plus one speed, but he's not. He's only going to be a decent receiver. Now Mark Clayton, one less speed, because is an elite route runner and speed. So that, that that's the difference for building your team. You have to understand that. And you want to be able, and you also want to see at the other side, cornerbacks don't have elite zone yet, let's just say. So route running is super important. Uh, fall forward, not, I don't know what that means there. Power break, I don't know what that means uh let's see user control don't know what that is. so spin tiers so for the lowest tier spin animation is 65 to 79 79 to 88 is the good ones and above 88 is the top spin tier for being able to spin move for stiff arm is 65 lowest 78 for medium and then above 90 stiff arms when you get the glitchy stiff arms and then for trucking it's 65 78 90 as well so above 90 is the top trucking animations diving uh i don't really know how much diving really impacts based on rating hurdling you need above a 90 and then juking 90 now guys we more or less knew this now i didn't know spin was 88 but for sure like most of the ball carry i think it's been 90 that's kind of what they do with 90s which is why it gets later in the year once everyone has above 90 everything you start to notice less of a player difference without pretty much speed is what starts to become the determining factor uh let's see play action rating for i guess it's a fake people odds above a 90 elite quarterback threshold above a 90 i, I don't know for what specific thing and then over here so accuracy short pass above an 80 prevents random and accurate throws like I, I guess if like it's just you're standing still in the pocket he's wide open i guess that's that you know what i mean so like if you're being sacked or you're scrambling you're under pressure you can't get a bad throw but if you're standing still on a flat short pass and you lead it properly above an 80 on that should prevent that now for a medium pass you have to have above an 85 standing still to always get pretty much an accurate pass like you know those random ones that happen where like out of nowhere it's a good pass and it just goes like a duck i guess it happens based on rating and then for deep passes you have to have above a 90 to be able to stand still and always know the throw will get there but if you're not standing still or there's someone coming in pressure wise you're not gonna be able to do that so that's pretty much all of these thresholds right here so guys that covers all those thresholds and honestly very similar to madden 20 i hope that was understanding for uh, you guys understand that i was a little confused on some things there but for you guys who may know more of the coding aspect or what those prior thresholds were you could probably understand some of the ones i didn't now one final thing guys before we head on this video is solo battles is coming back Solo battles are coming back. If you guys didn't know, solo battles were gated for a while. They turned them off. They didn't. People weren't able to play them because there was a glitch. As you can see here, they're back. There was a glitch where you were able to play like unlimited solo battle games, like 50 games, and get your max score and get guaranteed top 100. But they are back, which is super cool for all you grinders. Because again, solo battles is like the weekend league for people with not the best teams, or people who don't like playing online, or even for both people who want to who are true grinders. You want to play online during the weekend and then play solo battles in the mornings of weekdays where you have time. So I'm happy you guys, are, I'm happy solo battles are back. Happy you guys can get your rewards. Uh, I doubt they changed any rewards here, but for the most part, legend tier is super easy to get. 44K tro uh, coins, 60 trophies, Hail Mary packs and red zone packs. I don't think the rewards are super great for legend, but that's where you need top 100. Top 100 is pretty insane. You get top, you get like 50, 26. You get a lot of uh, coins, some touchdown packs, which you can quick sell for the 60K, which isn't bad at all. But guys, for the most part, that pretty much covers everything. So we got the kickoff confirmed Thursday. Stay tuned for that. Title update coming today. Thresholds uh solo battles are back and that's pretty much it guys covers just about everything guys any questions regarding anything comment it down below in the comment section let me know what you guys think are you guys solo battle grinders are you guys gonna be for the title update make sure to go read the title update uh notes in case you don't know what's coming out with that guys about it make sure to give this video a big thumbs up to get 100 likes for all this news guys 
and can you guys subscribe to the channel turn on that noti bell come join the family guys let's grind out to 24k thank you so much for watching i'm out peace